I'm installing uh, some dash cams in the Mac One. Um, I've gone with Blackview, the DR970X2 channel, and I'm putting two of these in, two separate systems in. Uh, I'll show you how I'm doing that a bit later in the video. I'm using uh, some uh, memory cards in them as well, to, as it's recommended. Um, I'm using a Cellink uh, battery backup for the system, which is all going into the back of the car, into the boot. And I'm using Netgear Wi-Fi router that's got a sim card in it unlimited sim card and they'll connect up to that and that will give me access to the cameras all the time they're actually going to go they're going into the boot here and i'm going to fit them into this recess uh, i've got some special felt that i've bought which is the same as this as near as i could get um, to get and i'm making a panel to cover them in so it'll look a factory finish um, and I'm going to bring all the wiring through from the fuse panel which is kind of on the other side here it's just mounted on the inside of the car so um, I could see so the fuse panel is mounted on the inside of the car behind this panel I believe going by the videos I've seen and I've got to bring the wiring through inside the car and into that location where everything will pick up them from the battery pack. So the first job is to cut the, I'm gonna mount these on wood. So I've made a template here to fit perfectly into this alcove. I've made another template here and this one, I hope you can see this, I'll turn this around. This one fits like this into the back and it'll actually sit like this. And I'm gonna cover it in some felt um, so that it's, it completely covers all of the wiring and the battery packs and everything. So that when I want to access the boot, boot space of the car, I don't have to worry about hitting it and also I don't want to see it. So hopefully that will turn out nice. So the panels are all made to cover up the cables. Uh, I've got cables coming into here, two battery packs and a Wi-Fi router. Um, I'm going to show some more of that in a minute, but I custom made these because I want them to look right. I don't want just to have them laying on the floor in the trunk space and then stuff getting put on top of them or getting damaged. So. Uh, I built this out of plywood. I templated it first, as you've seen. Uh, I built it out of plywood. I bought some felt off of Amazon, which is the nearest color I could get, which actually looks better in real life than it does on the camera here. Um, and uh, the color matches closer. Um, this fits in perfectly into this space here, leaving a void underneath the cables. So when I take this out, there'll be cables underneath, and you can see there's a, the way I've designed it. It's all, it's all stuck down with the spray glue and stapled and I've designed it to leave a little recess here for cables underneath. So when it's in place, you won't see any cables, they're all neatly tied away. And then, if I just fit this back in place set, then this panel here, this, this will be held on with Velcro and this basically just lift, lifts up, sorry, lifts up into place like that and just stays there. So it'll be Velcroed. With straps on so protect protecting the wiring so you can't see it as well and uh you know if i'm using the boot trunk space wherever you come from um the uh everything's nice and neat and tidy and safe right so where are we power cables in now for the neo 8 that that will go into the back of the the bottom package of neo 8 the neo 6 is just the piggybacks on it rip runs with that that cable there uh, this cable is to one of the dash cams. That's a power cable which goes to the Neo uh, 8. And I've got a connection cable for that, so that's no problem. That cable, uh, I've still got some of these panels off here, ran all underneath the back here, around under the, across the back parcel shelf and stuff everywhere. Um, through the back, underneath the back seat, which is wedged up just at the moment for access. Uh, I've took this panel off, which was easy, uh, and I brought the cables through into the fuse panel here. Um, oh, there, I can't get under there, it's, <laughs> it's really awkward. Um, so basically, I looked on the forums and there's loads of different uh, people saying, oh, you should connect to this fuse and that fuse. I've just used a circuit tester. I bought a, 
uh, a circuit tester off Amazon somewhere here. And um, yeah, there it is up there. And basically just tested them with a ignition on and off. And that that's how it worked out which fuse I take out. It's a 20 amp fuse. So just want to get this finished now. It's been a bit of a job and uh, I don't like taking trim panels off cars because all this, the tabs break and stuff. So I'll be happy to get this job finished. Okay, so battery packs are in. Wi-Fi hubs in um, and it's ready to go. I've just got to connect a couple more cables up, go on the app, set that up and uh, everything's done. The so the smaller dash cams are gonna go in this glass grid. You can't see them. Um, behind this glass is, this glass is slightly darker anyway because of this window being tinted with ceramic film. So I'm gonna put one up in the back here, one in the front and one on each side. That'll give me complete all round view of the car all the time, mount them up in the top of the front screen and the rear screen, um, and they're, they're very good quality. This is the 4K version, so uh, should give me some fantastic image quality. Okay, so I've got the front camera in, I've cleaned it with alcohol and stuck the front camera up, started to feed the cable through, and you do that by pushing it up just above the roof felt, and I've taken it along inside the roof felt, and I'm now coming down the pillar and just threading it into this carefully in the back of this panel. There's a little tiny gap and I'm just pushing it down there. Rubbers hold it in perfect. Not the easiest thing to do. I did fit one of these cameras a while ago and I've forgotten how much of a pain in the backside it is to do. Really fiddly, awkward. Panels are tight, it's a new car. Um, so <laughs> yeah, uh, it's good. You just got to give yourself time to be able to, to do this. It's not a five minute job by any means. Okay, so I've got the back camera in, mounted it on the, on the rear screen, and I've got one of the, the, both the side cameras are in, you can see them over there in the small side windows. Um, not the easiest thing to film this, just because of space in the car. Um, I've run the cables in the, in the felt, in the roof felt and behind the pillars, just to, to keep it completely out of the way. Um, again, not the easiest thing in the world to do, but I managed to get rid of it all, and uh, it's come out really well, actually. I mean, you can obviously see the cameras, but that's, uh, the idea of them is that like, they're protecting me. So I've got one in each side, one up front and back. And uh, if I'm not in the car for any reason, somebody tries to break into it or whatever, as soon as these cameras sense movement, they send me a message on my phone to tell me. So. Uh, you know, if, I'm, if it's parked out in the street and somebody's trying to get into it or there, whatever, the car gets bumped, um, I'm going to know straight away. 